welcome back to Nut Job, where you have at least one nut job in this room, and probably a second one over here. Yeah, that's right. Are you you're right there, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the part two of the Alberta. What is it? 1965. 65, 1965 Alberta Splitty. I think we should call it Albert. Yeah, Just a suggestion. Yeah, sure. So in the last video, we did a lot of rummaging around to try and find different bits and bobs for this right-hand drive conversion. We had a little bit of fun with the DBLA, of course, as well. Yeah. Um, and checked out this old awesome Splitty. During this video, we, or in fact, John, will show you how to do a right-hand drive conversion from the left-hand drive. We're swapping it over. Yeah. And Jazzy, Come on, we'll show you. you. What is this? He's going to show you a circus. How to get archive really quickly. <laughs> Go on, you boys carry on. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. I, I don't believe this. <laughs> He's out. It's just, it's just unprofessional. Totally unprofessional. <laughs> but either way, Jazzy, at some point during this video, breaks his record for how quickly he removes an engine from a splitty and then shoves it back in to a different one. Yeah. Specifically, this one. John? Yeah. Shall we? We shall. On with the show. <laughs> it's splitty time, Jono. Yes. And we are planning the left to right hand conversion. We are. So, what's step one? This is step one. But lucky enough, we have a kit to do the job. Oh, but we are fortunate enough for that. So, would you mind running us through the bits? Piece of internal chassis leg, opposite of the original left hand drive one. The carrier section for the clutch pedal. We've got the pedals that have already been converted. I see. So um, is, this is sort of a custom thing that's going on here. Somebody spent the time and they've made this kit up. And that'll be a uh, clutch pedal. I'll be in there. And then you've got this piece here, which takes your clutch cable. Yeah, that is very custom, isn't it? Yeah. And these are just a, all the little brackets to carry your throttle pedal. And a few other little bits of bracketry. I'm not sure if we're going to be using all these or not. Right, but with that out of the way, step one is clean up the metal, sand up, grinder, um, tidy stop, up, getting some measurements. Mm -hmm. So, the tape measure from the other side to this side to make sure this is going exactly where it should be. First job is I'm going to actually cut the hole to fit the clutch pedal bracket. I should poke through this side here. So, using cone cutter? Cone cutter is definitely the way to go on this on one. Here. Yeah, yeah, this one's smashing behind the pieces at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Looking about. About fair. About fair. Yeah, it worked. Now that I've weld, cleaned it up and weld that in, and once that's in, we get the extra bit of chassis. Word of advice you need a really good welder for this. Big welder. Yeah. Not a MIG welder or a TIG welder, a big welder. A big welder. You see what I've done? Oh, my knob's falling off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This is the extra piece of chassis, which takes all the steering column. Yeah, so that's the near end. Um, that's only tacked in at the moment, so I'm going to try it all out. And I've taken measurements from that side and converted them to this side, so there shouldn't be any problems. That's our new clutch pedal. Fits in like a glove. It's in there. We've got the heat tube this side and the steering Are this side. going to get right in the way? Yes. Right. So I'm going to cut the whole section out of there and a whole section out of here. And I'm going to move that to that side and that Just, just swap that it out? Yeah. Yeah, okay, doable. Yeah. I've got the new old steering box in. Dang. So you're actually just nicking the bolts off that yeah. one as well? So, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, nicking all the bits off of that. I'm just reinforcing the front under here. Because obviously the front panel is very slightly different. You can see this one's got the extra piece tying the extra chassis yeah. section in. Mm. I've just put that in on that side. Done the same thing. Mirrored it again. Just fully welded it in. It's not too bad because everything's here. Yeah. So as long as you mirror it, of course, you've got all your measurements. So as long as all the measurements are right, you shouldn't really have any trouble doing it. The added bonus for us is the van's been gutted out and there's no floor in the way. Or anything <laughs> yeah, else. that's true, yeah. So yeah, yeah it does help place, actually. Just in case of fitting the floor over it. This is the floor. This is Gear change bar, gear change bar. Insertion. Inserts. When you change gear, that's what moves it from the front to the rear. Up that tube. Oh yeah. Right, so. 
but we know that this has to be fitted into this before we fit these because we're not oh, taking so the if you fitted that and didn't put that in it it'd be a massive yeah I'd have to take the gearbox out to put that back yeah no good right smart job done any goodies mmm wipers Ooh. wipers washers and bolt someone's been smart so you're going back in there then yep <laughs> Green dash. Dash. Out. Out. We're just waiting on the spring. See for the ah, so left the kit, hand spring. The kit wasn't full. No, the left hand spring for the clutch pedal doesn't fit the right hand side. Oh really? So we're just waiting for those from Heritage. Yeah, very good. Um, but once we've got that, that's pretty much that installed. And we have a brand spanking new in the box. Ooh. Master cylinder. Brand new master cylinder to go oh. on. Brand new, <laughs> brand new bracket. Here. Excellent. I won't put that on yet until we've got all this finally assembled and I'll know exactly where to wheel it on. Add. Mm. Just push that corner of that panel, that black panel over there, towards us. <laughs> I think we might need some measurements, my friend. What? Is this too long? Oh, it's symmetrical. Too far out. What? How does that work? Things are not lining up. As they should. No. This board. Check the board. Has every dimension of what they should be. Right, so we're looking at... This section through here. I would say that that distance between this support and that support on that fan isn't right. And how would that have happened? Someone's put it together wrong. So Interesting. We, you get it. <laughs> it you does get happen. It. It does yeah, happen. over the years of people bodging it and putting plates in or changing bits, wow. and everything moves around. You go and check the actual measurements, what it should have been. It's way off. Miles out. Weird. I had about 30 mil out. Right, okay. Uh, we had worse than that, haven't we, John? <laughs> Actually saying that. <laughs> All right. But as does. Got 80 mil, so we're 60 mil out. Here we go. So, your dash is ready. Well, this is our first uh, fit, dry fit. Dry you fit, like. yeah. All right, let's have a little look. There you go. That's that was pretty good. Isn't actually too bad. That's not bad at all. A little bit of grind, a little bit of fat. Snug. A little bit of fat in here and there. In the corners and things. And that's right hand drive dash in there. Right hand drive as well. well it's, we're, we're almost there, lads. Get on you boys. Oh, that even stays there. <laughs> da, 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 da. Good morning, Jono. Good morning. Oh, nicely done. Clampy clampy. Clampy clampy. It's a weldy weldy all the way around. Yeah. It's yeah. all fixed in, straightened up. There you go. Look at that. You're pretty much there. You may as well just leave it like that, eh? Better than some of the ones we've done. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still waiting on that spring, eh? I'm sure we're going to get this morning. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was too busy worrying about the horn that was going to be constantly on in my van. <laughs> it's a nightmare. What the plan is today? Yeah. Get this dash finished welded in. Get the floor welded in. Well, all the crossbars, because he wants it left open, doesn't he? Got you. And then tomorrow morning, go up and get the engine uh, out of goose, the and, goose out. and just put it straight in this uh, and that down. Uh, yeah. So. And then. It's by the end of the week, hopefully, the idea is to get it running, right? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Hey, go. That's what we need. Sweet. Beautiful. We always make sure these are in, because you know they can only go in one way, height-wise. Right. Okay. And then, if you're replacing the bottom of the V-post, you set it to these off the seal. So, of course, they've not put these in, Redone their B post. Right. So that whole side has dropped an, about an inch. Right. So we've now got to cut that out, reposition the B post in the correct place. So this is that. basically too too low. Yeah, look, that's it. So that. Yeah, so that's where it should be. It should be, yeah, flush with that. And there's a lot to think about, isn't there? All right. Yeah, you just don't jump ahead too far. 
little mm. by little. Yeah, yeah. Always put them in first because if you got them in the right place and the seal, everything mm. runs from that. Jersey top tip: get or, them in, get the floor supports in first, and that's how you measure. You measure from that, right? Yep. Right. Right. So it's getting to that time that we are thinking, hmm, what's next? What's the way forward from here? And that, I think, is getting an engine. So the boys have decided that they're gonna send it straight up the barn and bring back good old Goose, the other split we have, and that has an engine in it. Hopefully we can do a little swippity swappity and get a running SAP. We know that Goose's engine runs as well. That's definitely um, been running at some point recently. So I think that's the strategy. Here we go. Goose has arrived. That is what we like. And this is what we got it for. Obviously we have our engine. Bosh, engine one. We know that one works. Right hand drive steering assembly. Ah. Front panel. Front panel, we'll fix the front panel we got on it. Brilliant. I'm not gonna fit the whole panel. Oh really, you're just gonna chop out? I'm gonna cut what I need off of it. I'll do it's the, for a good cause. The minimum amount. Excellent. All right. so, so it should be largely original the van. We like that. We like largely original here at Nutjob. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see, to see here. Just All one right. man in his van. All right. Cheers, boys. Cheers for the help. See ya. We have the new steering arm on. Ooh. That one works that way round. Because the steering box arm comes down to this. Right. And that one oh, basically the works. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you flipped it. Well, you haven't flipped it. They're well, different, they but different. they're basically the other way around. Got ya, got ya. Oh, so talking about the other way around, is this thing here not the wrong way around? Or am I just completely stupid and got it on back front? What's the matter then? Well, it's not down, supposed to be down here, is no, it? No, it's supposed to be upwards. Up the top? Yeah. Yeah, but it's got a keyway in there. Unless I've just literally put that on back front. Turn it over the other way. It won't go the other way. Keyway wouldn't go the other way if you wanted it to. For me, it looks oh, like... Oh, it's a right-hand drive conversion with a left-hand clutch. Yes. It's going to be driving on that. Excellent. All right, cool. I think, I think this would be a very unique bus, wouldn't it? I think a modification might be required. Actually, in fact, the keyway's in totally the wrong place. That there is the slot for the bolt hole. Yes? Yes. And this is the slot for the keyway. Yes. The keyway runs into here. Yes. All right, so if you was to line that bolt hole up with that, we'll which would be that way, yes? Yeah. Then the keyways it's miles way off. Out. Oh, that's way off. Yeah, okay. That far out. Interesting. So our kit is, is wrong. wrong. Ah. So I've got two ways of doing this. I can either cut that off and redo it. Or we can go and have a look in the box see if we've got another one. There might be another one lying around. Or they might not oh, be the, we've exactly got, the same. We've got about six or seven kits. Oh, yeah, that's right. Which all might be wrong. It's so. never as simple as it seems. Oh, never, never, never. Never, never, never. Again, if you've got a welder, tape measure. Right. Fix most things. Nice. So John's hit his head. Yes. <laughs> um, but and also, he's discovered some interesting all things. All these kits are wrong. The easiest way around it is to modify this. So basically I'll cut that off. And then spin it around. And then we'll put that exactly where we want it and then we'll pedal back in. I mean, is that a lot? No, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah, we've got a big bad. wheel, it'll be fine. They've all left hand, uh, left hand drive pedals for right hand drive conversion. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, might literally. Be might be, yeah, maybe it is, yeah. Literal, <laughs> absolute 180 degree fixture yeah. Got him. You got it in? Yep. There you go. Oh, so you're taking that off completely and you're gonna then weld it back in into well, yeah, you. Because where it was, was that way. Right. So actually, just going straight on the other side. It is exactly. It will be spot on. 50% of the wrong way around. Yeah. That's it. That is a nice world. Oh, glad you got that one on camera. <laughs> <laughs> good job, mate. That's a good world. Love that. What I'll do is I'll probably spin the pedal around and give it a tack on the back as well. Yeah, when nice. It's open. Then we'll seal it all up, make sure it doesn't rust. Wicked. Look at that. Make your progress. Here we go. Uh, update the brake pedal 
conversion was also wrong. Oh no! <laughs> was that this bit here? That, that you... is the piece I've just put on. Just. So what, was it missing or was it the top side? It was too short and in the wrong place. Right. <laughs> so when it was throwing, the, this, this hinging part was up here. So right you've right. extended it with I've a new... I've used the original one, I've cut it off the original one and welded it onto this one. It's all in the right place and where it should be. So you're sitting there dead centre. Lovely. And it, should, like and it was up there somewhere. <laughs> so okay. it would have been pushing down and into yeah, it. Yeah, just not going to work. Ooh. Oh, it's a monster, Jazz. Jazz, I think it wants to eat you. It's a monster. Look at the size of him compared to my finger now. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, it's he's gone. Coming, he's coming, he's coming for you, Jazz. Jazz, look at his spindly legs. <laughs> oh, no. You missed him, buddy. We don't do that on this channel. No spiders were hurt in the filming of this video. Time to get the engine out, Jazz. Yeah. 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 Nice looking engine, actually. This is one we rebuilt. Yeah. So it's sweet as that. <laughs> Jersey, I just watched that video back of you getting that engine out. Yeah. Just, you did it in 10 minutes. I know, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man, you know why? That's quick, mate. Yeah, I know. That's ridiculous, blimey. I can do it with less. If everything's there right next to you, ready. I reckon I could do it in five. We're gonna have to hold you that at some challenge. point, do a challenge vid. Yeah, How I reckon fast? to the floor, five minutes. That'd be pretty amazing. If the back panel's removed. What if we include the back panel? Probably take me seven minutes. <laughs> That's good going. <laughs> Either way, well done, mate. That's a good show. There you go. She's in. She's in. That would run. It would run as well? Yeah. Yeah. You, so you've got the... All I've got to do is connect the... Battery up. And it's ready to go. In, and that would run. Blimey. Look at that. It's not bad going, is it? How long you, yeah, how, okay, so you got the engine out in 10 minutes, yeah. and then you've also got the the gas tank in, yeah. and the engine, and hooked it up. Yeah. In how long do you reckon that was? 15 minutes. Get out of 15 minutes. Well, you got the video, we left it running. I reckon 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Give or take. I believe. Um, it was 15 minutes. <laughs> That's pretty good. 15 minutes, slam, engine in. <laughs> Amazing. So this is, it's been a big day today. It's yeah. been a massive day today. Yeah. We've got full pedal We're setup going feet. on. Pedal setup's in, the clutch cable's in. Master cylinder's in. Master cylinder's in. Engine's in. Gear linkages in, gear linkages in, gear oh, stick. It's only Wednesday. Loads of welding. We might even just do a little drive forward and back with test tomorrow morning. Yeah. I it, think we should. It won't stop, but it should go. Do you want to see a drive forwards and backwards test? Of course you do. Here it is. When you're ready, I'll have the throttle. Right. So there's no brakes in this then? No. No brakes, no steering. Do I have to stop here? Send it. Oh. What? Clutch is very stiff. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Nice! That's great. What are you sitting on? <laughs> that looks comfy. Bit of reverse. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey! Hey! Yes. Whoa. No, no brakes! <laughs> Whoa! Nice! Wicked! Nice work, lads. Well, you can stand on the floor. Yeah. Before you get out. It's like the um, it's like the Flintstones car, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, boys. Oh, I'm I'm, go, I'm getting you two to do the outro. We, we, we do we miss the intro, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Go on then. What's happened in this bit? Loads. Loads. We're done. We're going home. <laughs> We've yeah. done the right hand drive conversion. Yeah. Which was a total pain in the arse. <laughs> Absolutely. So we got it running as well. Yeah. How's the, how's the arc going? Sore. <laughs> we got all the floors welded in. So we did yesterday, we were eight hours solid welding yesterday. That's right. Between the two of us. But that's going to be in the next bin. Yeah. So 
So, speaking of, what is happening in the next bit? The next bit is we live on bodywork. Bodywork. Body making it look all pretty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I won't be here. You John won't be, be here because you'll be on holiday. I'll be on holiday. It'll be John be doing what he does best. Yeah, fill it, fill it, fill it. <laughs> fill it, fill it, fill it. <laughs> and, and we'll leave it with that. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> and that's not job. Thanks for joining us for this video. I uh, hope really you liked not. it. Do a bit of liking, subscribing, right, and we'll see you in the next one. Ha, ha, ha.